Glenn, you're absolutely right. In fact, one potential candidate high on that list we're hearing is California Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger. She attended high school here in Pasadena before moving on to Harvard University. We heard from President Biden early this morning, and he said that he'll making he'll be making that announcement on his decision for Breyer's possible replacement sometime the end of February, calling that individual a historic candidate. I've made no decision except one. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. It's long overdue in my view. I made that commitment during the campaign for president, and I will keep that commitment. Now, as for that potential nominee, 45-year-old Justice Kruger, who could fill this vacancy, well, she's held a number of prominent positions. She was acting deputy solicitor general in the Obama administration. The Yale Law School graduate also served as a law clerk on the Supreme Court for former Justice Paul Stevens. Kruger was raised here in South Pasadena, the daughter of two doctors, and attended Polytechnic Prep School. Now, early in her career, she argued cases in front of the court when she worked for the solicitor general's office. And in 2014, then-Governor Jerry Brown appointed her to the California Supreme Court. This morning, Justice Breyer, who sat for 28 years on the court, he handed in his letter of resignation to President Biden, officially announcing his plans to step down from the court when the Supreme Court takes its recess this summer. The president is pushing for a swift confirmation of his nominee by the Senate, also adding that he'll invite members of both parties to weigh in on a possible nominee. Breyer's retirement isn't expected to impact the 6-3 to three majority that conservatives currently hold. Now, other candidates that President Biden could also be considering includes Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, who the president appointed last year to the U.S. Court of Appeals in D.C., and also Judge J. Michelle Childs, who served on the U.S. District Court in South Carolina. So again, a lot of names being tossed out, a lot of big time um, possible candidates with a, a huge list of experience. But again, no official word from the president. President Biden saying that announcement will not come until sometime before the end of February. That's latest here in Pasadena. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News.